Hello everyone, Namaste, a warm welcome to all of you. Today we will be solving sums on measurements. The capacity of a small container is 400 milliliter and the capacity of a big container is 1500 milliliter. If Sumit uses nine small containers and two big containers of water to fill up an empty tank, then what is the capacity of the tank? Option A. 5 liter 200 milliliter option b 6 liter 600 milliliter option c 4 liter 500 milliliter and option d 6 liter 60 milliliter so this is a small container whose capacity is 400 milliliter and this is a big container whose capacity is 1500 milliliter now sumit uses nine small containers and two big containers of water to fill up an empty tank here and is a keyword for addition so we will put plus for that so sumit uses nine small containers plus two big containers of water to fill up an empty tank that means the capacity of nine small containers plus the capacity of two big containers is equal to capacity of the tank. Now let's find out the capacity of the tank. Capacity of nine small containers is equal to 400 milliliter into nine equal to 3600 milliliter. And the capacity of two big containers is equal to 1500 milliliter into two, which is equal to 3000 milliliter so the capacity of the tank is 3600 plus 3000 milliliter which is equal to 6600 milliliter 6600 milliliter can be written as 6000 milliliter plus 600 milliliter which can be written as 6 liter plus 600 milliliter because 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter so 6000 milliliter would be 6 liter so the answer would be 6 liter 600 milliliter so the correct option is b 500 poles were erected along one side of a straight road two poles were 5 meter apart what is the distance between the first pole and last pole option a 2 kilometer 90 meter option b 3 kilometer 495 meter option c 2 kilometer 500 meter and option d 2 kilometer and 495 meter suppose this is the first pole and this is the second pole two poles were 5 meter apart that means the distance between the first pole and second pole is 5 meter now let's assume this is the third pole so the distance between first pole and third pole is equal to 5 meter plus 5 meter which is 10 meter that is 2 times 5 meter now if this is the fourth pole then the distance between the first pole and last pole would be 3 times 5 meter which is equal to 15 meter. Here it is to be noted that the distance between first and last pole is equal to number of poles minus 1 into 5 meter. That is when number of poles are 4 the distance is 4 minus 1 that is 3 times 5 meter so when there are 500 poles the distance between the first pole and last pole is equal to 500 minus 1 into 5 meter which is equal to 499 into 5 meter that is 2495 meter it can be written as 2000 meter plus 495 
meter. Now 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. So 2000 meter would be 2000 divided by 1000 which is equal to 2 kilometer. So the answer is 2 kilometer 495 meter. So the correct option is D. A milkman has 20 liter 500 milliliter of milk. He gives 3 liter 250 milliliter to Mrs. Gupta, 2 liter to Mrs. Sharma and 4 liter 500 milliliter to Mrs. Saxena. How much milk is left with milkman? Option A 10 liter 750 milliliter. Option B 7 liter 250 milliliter. Option C 9 liter 50 milliliter. And option D 8 liter 250 milliliter. This is a milk container and it has 20 liter 500 milliliter of milk. He gives 3 liter 250 milliliter to Mrs. Gupta, 2 liter to Mrs. Sharma and 4 liter 500 milliliter to Mrs. Saxena. So total quantity of milk he gave is equal to 3 liter 250 milliliter plus 2 liter plus 4 liter 500 milliliter which is equal to 9 liter 750 milliliter. Now let us find out how much milk is left with milkman. The quantity of milk left is equal to quantity of milk the milkman had minus quantity of milk he gave. Quantity of milk the milkman had is 20 liter 500 milliliter and quantity of milk he gave is 9 liter 750 milliliter. So quantity of milk left is equal to 20 liter 500 milliliter minus 9 liter 750 milliliter which is equal to 10 liter 750 milliliter. So the correct option is A 10 liter 750 milliliter.